working. Okay. Okay. Um, right, well. So this is the plug-in two-mode uh, hybrid. That's right. And this has the eight kilowatt hour uh, lithium ion pack. That's right. Eight kilowatt hour uh, LG is okay. the cell. And CPI, their US affiliate's going to be building the pack for us. Okay. So, uh, so this is a mule car. This right. is not uh, a highly refined car at this point in time. Okay. And uh, do we can we look at like the miles per gallon as we're driving? Or we can look at state of charge. It's uh, 60%. I don't know if I can get that on here, but it's, it's sitting there at 60% as we start the game. All right. Do I have to turn it on? Yeah, you can, you can start it. It's not on right now. Okay. All right. So I hear the engine go on. Is that typical? No, that won't happen when we're when we're done. It's we don't have the silent start turned on on this one yet. Okay, I see. So then and the engine's off already. It was just part of the initialization logic that we don't have in here yet. Okay. Okay. And so we have what sign? Well, this is a six cylinder or four cylinder? This is a three point six liter, a direct injected V six engine. Okay. About two hundred and seventy horsepower. And the motors in here are? 255 kilowatt uh, permanent wow. magnet electric motors. So It'll you let you drive. Have everything going on at once. Well, uh, yes and no. <laughs> okay. Up a hill at 80 miles an hour, I guess. Uh, yeah, the, it is a power split type of a hybrid, a two mode type of a hybrid okay. that we've added a large lithium ion battery pack to in order to uh, make it the plug in. Right, so put it in gear. All right, and we're going to just we're going to go right behind that uh, Buick over there. Okay. We motor out here slowly to not run any of these oh, no. reporters down. So it seems quite silent going off. I think we're all on electric now. Is there yeah. top electric speed on this? About uh, 40 miles an hour. Okay, and that will be 40. true for the production. This powertrain is like 99 percent ready for. Uh, or 90 percent or it's a little less than that because uh we've uh we've changed from the what we had going in the two mode uh view that we yeah. didn't take to production because of the saturn brand situation right right, right. Uh, we changed the engine we changed the inverter oh you did uh we've made modifications to the to the drive unit the transmission and electric motors uh, all for the purposes of cost and efficiency. I see. So, so do, do you have like a target price for what you want that car to sell for, or that's too early to say? That's too early to say. But we've done things like we brought the Volt Inverter into this okay. car because the Volt Inverter is very capable and it's a higher volume part, lower cost. It's all good. Smaller, lighter, cheaper. I see. It's very good. To roll your window down, he's gonna give you. Hello, talking to you today already? Hi. No, not yet. No, not yet. We have two courses for you today. Right where those cones are. See where yeah. they're split right there. Yeah. Performance course to the right, city course to the left. You're gonna want to take probably the city course on yep. this one. Yep. City course. Okay. Um, when you come up, uh, make sure you roll down your window and talk to me. I have to space you guys accordingly and make sure that everyone's safe and that you know it's a good driving distance. See you both around. You're all set. Ready to go? Thank you. Okay, so we're ready to rock and roll now. All right. So stay to the left at okay. the cone, at the pylon here on Black Lake. Trying to see if I can. Here, can I can turn this? Yeah, you can turn it down one more. You can see too, in the white, you'll be as an EV, and when you start the engine, oh, it'll okay. move to green. So that white part of the and if it hits green, the engine's on. Right. So I'm accelerating electrically at this point. Oh sure. It feels pretty solid. I mean, nice and quiet. Yeah, the electric motors in here are uh, permanent magnet type, concentrated wound windings paid a lot of attention to noise and vibration. Mm. So they're actually their benchmark quality in, in terms of noise and vibration. Very smooth on that, around 20 miles per hour still. I think I'm only on electric. And, uh, so you think I can get up to 40 even with acceleration? Uh, on electric? It'd be tough to get above about 35 on acceleration. <laughs> Keep going straight here. I'm going to step on it a little bit just to see. There's the engine start. Okay, but very, very smooth sound. Some of these, um, you know, like the second generation Prius, that kind of, you can really hear it. Or the Ford Fusion Hybrid, this seems much smoother. I guess yeah. it's more powerful. Yeah, I recommend you to just bury the throttle here. Okay. Wow. That's great. That's 
straight down? Or? Yeah, you're gonna go. It's a two lane highway here. Oh, okay. So now I'm, I'm probably on a mixture, or does it go to gas only at some It's point? a mixture. It'll be a mixture because we're looking for opportunities to discharge the battery. A plug in hybrid, we want to get it discharged in about 20 miles. Okay. So you, uh, you always come home empty. So you can okay. plug in and get I that see. special fuel again. I see, that's how it works. Right, that's the idea. So we can... So at low speed you can uh, drive how far purely electric? 20 miles even? Uh, it depends, you know, it's not really the objective. There's no right. objective to drive right. a certain distance. Really, the objective is to use the electricity to gain efficiency or gain fuel economy on an overall cycle. Okay. So. Uh, you definitely get over 10 miles, uh, but that, again, that's up not to really possibly up to 40 at low. I mean, if you're somebody yeah. that's like the hyper miling type, yeah, you drive 30 miles be, an hour, you know, you'll get 10 miles easily, and you can do that. But if you sure. need to get on the highway, you step on it, and there we go. You're, you're going 65 70 miles an hour on the highway, uh, let's say then you're going to try to discharge that battery after about 20 miles. Yeah, you think of it, think of it this way on the highway, it's like you have a tailwind. Okay. <laughs> the battery's trying to help you. You'll use less gasoline going downhill a little bit. So do both electric motors run simultaneously like at highway speed? Or are they, or are they, or are you, why would you need two running at the same time? Do they both contribute equal power to the turn, you know, to the, uh, to the drivetrain, to the drive Well, this is, a, uh, this is what we call a two-mode hybrid. Yeah. And are you familiar with how a Prius works? Yeah. Okay, a Prius is a one-mode hybrid. Okay. And it's power split, so part of the power goes mechanically and part of it goes electrically. And mm -hmm. in the case of the Prius, one motor is predominantly a generator, and the other motor is a traction motor, always a traction uh -huh, motor. Uh -huh. Okay. In, in this case, what we've done is, is we've added a second mode of operation mm -hmm. where we change clutches to allow to basically reuse the motor so that we can gear down the traction motor. Mm -hmm. So on a big, bigger SUV here, we can get more tractive effort. And then in the, uh, in, in the highway conditions, we can also run efficiently as well by making the motor speeds lower. So it's a power split always. So part of the power will go mechanically, part of the power will go electrically. Mm -hmm. Obviously when you're an EV, it's all electric. Mm -hmm. And so both motors are working almost all the time. There are points of drive where one motor is stopped. And, and because it's stopped, it's of course not contributing. And you only have one motor operating at that time. I see. So it's not that just one motor no. does the low speed, one motor No, it's, it's all about efficiency. And with the two modes, we're able to have a, have a efficient uh, electric drive and we're also able to operate the engine efficiently and then we discharge the battery uh, as we can to improve efficiency it's all about improving efficiency so does the uh, combustion engine only run at certain fixed rpms or is it uh, no it, it it follows the load okay, okay. it follows the load Engine. There's no, even no shutter or anything when the engine turns off. Yet. No, it's very smooth. Is, yeah, very smooth comparatively to some of the. Now I don't think you'll be able to, to beat these two boys here, <laughs> but uh, you'll have fun. It certainly seems like it has a lot of power. The vehicle's got to weigh 4,000. Uh, 4,500 pounds with the uh, with the battery pack. Mm. So at half a price, half the size, half the price of the Volt Pack, you, right? I mean, you yeah, can, that's right. So, it's half the Volt Pack. So the price of the vehicle overall might not be too. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be priced at. <laughs> it's in a Buick brand, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And end of 2011, I understand. Will you have a different type of interface here in, uh, for the final car? You think? Or? Uh, I think the instrument panel will be. Uh, slightly changed only. Will it have this type of thing? Yeah, it'll have a, a that, GUI. That's what you see inside the uh, your other two modes in production. Very that's right. Screen. It's very similar. It's a little different because you know it's showing you a V6 engine oh, okay. in this case. But uh, okay, you want to go? Really, we kind of 
where we started. Yeah, you want to go right through there. Carefully. There you go. Where the other plug-in is. Well, listen, I really appreciate